everyone, welcome back. My name is Avril and if you're new to my channel, I upload a video every week. So stick around for loads more of Christmas DIYs. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to support my channel and also to be notified every time I upload a video. Hi everyone, thank you for joining. In today's video, I'm so super excited to be sharing with you four super easy and simple to do Christmas DIY gift ideas. You could do these with your kiddos and also personalize these gifts for someone special. So let's get started. So let's get started with the first gift idea, the elf treat holder. So simple and easy to do. I started off this project by painting my terracotta pot using Waverly chalk paint in the color moss. I gave this pot two generous coats of paint inside and out and then set it aside to dry. Afterwards, while it was drying, I drew up a template to use as a collar for my pot. Here you see me using my ruler along with my pen to outline some triangles on the edge of my paper which I'll be later on cutting it out to form my collar. Once I was done cutting my template out, I then placed it on my pot to see whether it fit perfectly. Afterwards, I took my template and placed it onto my felt fabric and traced it onto the felt. Once I was done with the tracing, I then used my scissors and cut it out. Once you're done, this is how your collar should look. Now it's time to glue the bells onto the fabric. Here I'm using my glue gun to glue the bells onto my felt. At this stage, you could use any type or color of bells you wish. I'm just using which I've got in hand. Once you're done gluing the bells onto your fabric, this is how it should look. Now the collar is all ready to be glued onto the pot. Here you see me applying glue onto the collar, which I'll be then placing onto the rim of my pot. Just a quick tip guys, when applying the glue on your collar, make sure you apply the glue onto the same side which you pasted your bells on. This way, you won't have any glue to be noticeable. Once you're done gluing your collar onto your pot, this is how it should look. Now your pot is all done and it's ready to be filled up with candy. Here you see me using shredded paper to fill up my pot to give it a bit of texture. Afterwards, I decided to put my candy in a pouch which I've already got in hand. Once the candy was all filled up, I wanted the pouch to look more Christmassy, so I decided to use a festive ribbon to get my Christmassy look. Once it's done and all put together, this is how this cute little elf treat holder looks. I love how it turned out, hope you guys like it too. Gift idea number two, plant a pot, yet another easy and simple project to do. Here I'm using a terracotta pot which I've already got in hand that I'd use for a different project which I'll be repurposing. I gave this pot two generous coats of paint inside and out using my Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color linen white. Once I was done painting, I set it aside to dry. While the pots were drying, I started on my next step. I decided to decoupage this paper napkin onto my pot. I started off by peeling the back layer of the paper napkin and afterwards using my scissors I cut out the Christmas tree shapes. Once I was done cutting out as much as I wanted, it was time to glue them onto the pot. Here I am using Mod Podge to glue them onto my pot. I glued the tree onto the bottom of my pot and then followed it by adding more trees until I covered the entire pot. At this stage you could use any type of print you got in hand. Floral, Santa, Snowman, absolutely anything Christmassy would do. 
Once I was done placing all of my Christmas trees onto the pot, I then applied Mod Podge onto the entire pot to protect it from any elements and set it aside to dry. Now my pot is dry but I wanted to give the bottom of it a bit of a grassy look so I decided to use my Waverly chalk paint in the color moss to get my desired look. Once I was done I set it aside to dry. Now the pot is dry but since I was given this as a gift I wanted to tie a bow on it so I decided to use a festive ribbon to get my desired look. Now the pot is all decoed up and it's time to place a plant in it. Here I'm using an artificial pot which I've got in hand but at this stage you could use a natural one if you wish. Afterwards I applied some moss to give it a more earthy look. Now the pot is all ready and done. It was so easy and simple to do and I'm so in love with it. Hope you guys like it too. Gift idea number 3. Simple candle, so easy to do. For this project, I wanted the candle to have a natural and organic look, so I decided not to go ahead and paint it, but to use organic material to decorate it. Here I'm using burlap ribbon which I've got in hand which was a bit too wide, so I had to fold it down to fit my pot. At this stage you could use any type or size or color of ribbon you got in hand but make sure it fits your pot. Once I've got my burlap ribbon to my desired size, I then glued it onto the pot. Afterwards I took some green twine which I've got in hand and wrapped it around my pot. I went ahead and did this process because I wanted to give my pot a bit of an organic look. Afterwards I used the festive ribbon and tied up a bow and glued it onto my pot to give it a bit of a Christmassy look. Now the pot is done and it's time to prep it for its next step. Since I'm going to be using this pot to pour in candle wax, I had to find a way to cover the hole on the bottom of the pot. Here you see me placing some cardboard onto the whole bit of the pot and then covering it up by using duct tape. Now the pot is all prepped and ready for its next step. Here you see me placing a candle wick into the center of the pot and holding it in place by using a toothpick. Now the pot is ready for its candle wax. Here I'm using tea light candles as a substitute for candle wax since I couldn't find any in store. I simply took off the base of the candle then took off the wick and the metal bit from the bottom part of the candle and then shredded the candle into bits. Afterwards, I placed the shredded candle wax into a heat proof jar and then placed it into hot boiling water and left it in there until the candle wax melted. Now the candle wax is ready to be poured into my pot. Here you see me placing my pot onto a saucer to help with clean up in case there is a leakage with the candle wax. Now it's all set and ready for the candle wax to be poured in. Once all of the candle wax has been poured in, set it aside to dry. Now the candle is all dry and ready to be cleaned up. Here you see me cutting off the excess candle wick off and afterwards peeling off the duct tape from the bottom of my candle base. Now the candle is ready to be presented. Hope you guys like it. Gift idea number 4 Santa cup cookie holder So easy to do Here are a few things you will need for this project You will need a terracotta pot Some yarn Some glue Some buttons And also some paint I started off this project by painting the top rim of the pot Also the inside of the pot Using rust oleum chalk paint in the color linen white I gave this pot two generous coats of paint and set it aside to dry. Now the paint is dry and ready for its next step. 
Here I am applying Mod Podge onto the bottom of my pot. Afterwards, I will be placing the yarn and wrapping it around the pot. I repeated this process of wrapping the yarn around the pot while applying glue until I got to the top end of the pot. Once I was done wrapping the entire pot with my yarn, I then applied Mod Podge onto the entire pot to protect it from any elements and set it aside to dry. Now the yarn is all dry and ready for its next step. Here I'm using three black buttons which I'll be gluing down using my Gorilla glue onto the pot. Here you see me applying glue onto my button and then placing it in a row and afterwards I set it aside to dry. Now the Santa pot is ready for its cookies to be placed. Here I'm filling up the pot with some shredded paper which I'll be afterwards placing my cookies on top of it. This simple gift idea came out perfectly. Hope you guys like it. Okay guys, that's it for today. Hope you got inspired and enjoyed watching this video. If you want to watch one more video on a gift idea, please click here. Also, I would love to hear from you, so please do leave a comment down below on which one of these projects was your favorite. Mine was definitely the second one. Please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to support my channel and also to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, happy crafting!